guys. So if you follow me on Twitter, then you know that I went shopping on Black Friday, so I figured why not do a Black Friday haul? I have quite a bit of stuff to show you guys, so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into everything. Oh, wait. But first, if you don't know what Black Friday is, if you don't live in the States, um, it is basically like the biggest shopping day of the year. It's the day after Thanksgiving, and it kind of marks the beginning of holiday shopping, and a lot of stores just have really crazy deals, and it can get pretty hectic and, it, and insane and lots of people go out and there's huge crowds and it's just madness. So I did some shopping and the good news is I pretty much got all of my Christmas shopping finished. So that's a good thing as far as um, most of the women in my family go. Oh my gosh, this first bag is so heavy and you guys will see why in a second. But um, I went to Bath and Body Works because I love Bath and Body Works and they always have really good deals during Black Friday. So I have a really huge bag here and it is so heavy. My arms are like shaking trying to lift up this bag. But I have two of these bags to get through so might as well just get started here. Okay, so you guys know that I love Bath & Body Works candles. They're actually not Bath & Body Works brand but they're Slatkin & Co and the holiday scents that they come out with are amazing and they came out with a ton of new scents this year but um, I also got some old favorites, the first of which is Leaves. This smells so good, oh my gosh. I actually gave this candle to Fleur or Fleur de Force last year and she like rationed this candle off because it smells so good and she didn't want to use it all and you can't get these in the UK. And the great thing about these candles, they describe the scent on the bottom so that means I don't have to describe it because I'm really horrible at describing scents. So. Um, this one says golden nectar, juicy mandarin, and red delicious apple blend with toasted cinnamon, mold cider, and freshly harvested berries. Leaves smells so amazing. It does not smell like leaves. It's a really weird name that they chose, but it smells so, so good. So I believe I got four of these candles um, because... The candles were two for 20 and usually one of these three wick candles costs $20 on their own so it was kind of like buy one get one free. And I think if you buy two every candle after that is $10, I think. I'm not sure. But um, I had been waiting for this because the Bath & Body Works around me, they hadn't had the two for 20 sales since like the end of summer. So I was like, I need the holiday scents and I'm going on Black Friday because I know they'll be on sale on Black Friday. So, okay, huge bag here, <laughs> stuff is just flying around, so I'm just going to kind of grab what shows up. Another favorite is Frosted Cupcake. This one also smells amazing if you like sweet scents. Oh. Oh. And I love that it's named Frosted Cupcake because I love cake and I love cupcakes and I also love donuts. I actually was kind of disappointed with the donut candle that they had this year. I didn't really like it too much. But this one is a delicious blend of buttercream frosting, sugar, and fresh vanilla bean. So good. I also gave that candle to Fleur last year. And um, when we were video chatting, she showed me that she still had a little bit left. And she was just like sad that it was about to be gone. And then I got another leaves candle. This one has a different picture on it. Um, I just have to smell it again because it smells so good. Now, all of these candles are not for me because I will be giving them away um, as gifts and I may be giving away some to you guys in a giveaway. So um, yeah, these are definitely not all for me because it would probably take me a really long time to burn through all of these. So another leaves candle here, Cranberry Pear Bellini. Um, this one is a nice fruity scent and it is described as a bright blend of sparkling cranberry and juicy nectarine with sweet pear nectar and luscious black currant. So if you like fruity scents, this is definitely one of those. It kind of smells like a fruity bubble bath to me, but I really, really like it and I like the color of it too. It's a nice pale pink. Now, I had never seen these candles before. These are part of the aromatherapy line and I really like the lavender chamomile cam camel candle, but this one is vanilla cinnamon and I love how it kind of has the holographic print on it or wrapping on it, whatever, packaging. Um, this smells so... Good. <laughs> oh 
oh my gosh, I wish that you guys could smell these because they are amazing. So this one is described as warm and comforting nutmeg and cinnamon essential oil soothe the senses. So that's kind of interesting that it's called vanilla cinnamon, but there wasn't vanilla in the description, but I really like it. This is a really, really nice candle, and I love the aromatherapy scents. They are really calming and soothing, and I like burning them um, in my bedroom. Let's see, I have some more candles in here. This is like my candle bag. That's why it was so heavy. Okay, so one of the candles that I had never tried before is Tis the Season. This was one of the new ones that I saw. This one is described as golden apples, pine needles, and holiday cider are combined with a touch of ground cinnamon. Whew. So this just reminds me of like the cinnamon pine cones that my mom would have in the house combined with like the smell of a holiday wreath. I love this so much. Ooh, I really like this one and I love the picture on it. This one is gingerbread. Now, you guys know I love gingerbread because I'm obsessed with the gingerbread latte at um, Starbucks right now. Ooh. Oh, I just have to take a break to smell all these because they smell amazing. Um, this one is the perfect blend of spicy ginger, rich buttercream, and brown sugar topped with whipped vanilla frosting. So this again is another one of those sweet scents, but it's so good, so good. I love sweet scents um, during this time of the year because I feel like, ooh, I'm like stacking them over here and I don't want them to fall. Um, I feel like sweet scents during the cooler months just make your home feel nice and cozy and I like that. Here is another leaves candle. I am good to go with Mr. Leaves. And then the last one I got, I really, really love this one and I love the color. This one is Nighttime Tea. This one smells so good. Whew. This is described as soft and soothing cedarwood and orange essential oils help calm and comfort. And I really, really love this one, so I can't wait to burn it. I have so many candles that I'm going to be burning this season. But since I have so many candles, I decided to finally get the little candle holders from Bath & Body Works. I got some Christmassy ones. So I got the snowflake one and then I got little gingerbread men because I love gingerbread and these are super cute. So I got those. So um, you basically just pop your candle right inside here and it makes it nice and festive and it just looks a little nicer than having the plain candle out. I don't think there's anything wrong with having the candle out like this, but sometimes it's a little fun to just spice things up a little bit. And then I got a really cool one. This one is raised a little bit. It kind of looks like a goblet, but this one I can use like all year round because these are like holiday themed, so that would be kind of weird to have them out. Um, like in the middle of summer having snowflakes out, but this one is good for all year round, so basically would look like that, and I think it's really pretty and nice. And then the last two things in the first bag are these little cupcakes, or at least they look like cupcakes. They're actually the vanilla scented shea infused lounge, lounge socks, and I love these. I love the fuzzy soft socks that they have at Bath & Body Works, and these are so cute because they made them look like cupcakes. So these are great to give as gifts, and I will probably be giving um, one of these away in a giveaway. I'm not sure yet. I haven't like figured out which things exactly are going to be in my giveaways, but I'm pretty sure I'll include one of these. But these are super cute, and I love the socks. Got another big bag here from Bath & Body Works. This one is definitely a lot more manageable, though. It's not as heavy. So I guess I'll go over the first thing in here, which is this black tote bag that I got. Um, basically, on Black Friday, if you spent $40 or more, you could get this bag for $20. And this bag is filled with, I believe, $100 worth of merchandise. So there's a little bell on the outside, that's why it's like jingling. And then you have a little um, antibacterial thing, thing, hand gel here. This is the mistletoe kiss scent, which I've actually never smelled before, but it smells very nice. And then the inside of the tote bag is zebra print. 
and there's a little cosmetics bag. There was actually another one that was pink, but I gave that to my friend. This is everything in the bag. So um, there is a Cranberry Kiss lip gloss, the Be Enchanted shower gel, the Sleep Nighttime Tea body lotion, some Be Enchanted body lotion, body spray. What's this one back here? Oh, Gentle Foaming Hand Soap a little spongy thing to wash yourself with in the shower. So this is a really, really great set. And um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this. I might like break it up and give some of this stuff away as presents. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it all, but I'll figure it out. I just figured it would be nice to have this and it was a great deal. I only paid $20 for it and I got a pretty cool tote bag that I'm sure I can put to use. And then, since I love the socks so much, I got some more socks! <laughs> I got two of these socks, the little pink and green ones with the pink hearts on them because they're so cute. I got two of them because I'm definitely giving one of these away in a giveaway. They are so soft. Oh. When you put your feet in these, they just feel so good. And they're nice because they have the little grips on the bottom so you won't slip and slide around the house. Ooh, that almost fell. But um, a little secret, I kind of like sliding around the house. One of my favorite things to do is to like run down the hall with socks on so it's really like slick and I'll just like slide down the hall to the bathroom. That might seem kind of childish and weird but it's fun as long as you don't fall. And then I got these purple ones with pink, blue, and white polka dots on them. And I got some blue and white striped ones because I love blue. And this is actually my favorite shade of blue. So that's another reason why I got them. And then I got some pink ones. So those are all of the socks I got. And then what else is in here? I hear some bells. I got the Live, Love, Celebrate kit. It's a little gift set and in here is the Vanilla Teeny Body Lotion, the Strawberry Sparkler um, Body Lotion, a lip gloss, I can't see exactly what it is, and the Jingle Bellini Body Lotion. And the reason why I got this is because the Jingle Bellini scent smells so good. So this um, will probably end up being a gift for someone. And then I also got this little set and this is the Paris set. It comes with a body lotion, a little body spray, a little shower gel, and then a lip gloss. And this is really cute because it's in a little sparkly bag like this. And I think I'm going to be giving this one away as well because in December, I'm going to be doing Vlogmas on my vlog channel. And basically, I'm just going to be vlogging every single day up until Christmas. And I want to do a giveaway at least once a week as like a little Christmas present for you guys. So I'll be doing the giveaways on that channel. There so. will definitely, definitely be some good prizes in there. Some of this stuff will be in there. Some other stuff will be in there. So if you want to see me do Vlogmas, or if you just want to participate in the giveaways, be sure to subscribe to my second channel. I'll link it down below for you guys. And let's see, what else can I talk about here? Ooh, that bag is really far away, so I'm going to reach over here. I also went to um, Bloomingdale's during the day. So all of that stuff from Bath & Body Works was from my midnight shopping trip on Black Friday. But I went out with my friend Mary because she was in town. So we went out shopping during the day on Black Friday and went to Bloomingdale's so I could get some more Wild Fox Couture jumpers because I didn't know this, but they were on sale. And you guys know I love the Baggy Beach jumpers because they're so soft and so comfy, but they were on sale if you bought two. Um, you would get $25 off each one, plus $15 in B money, which is basically like um, store credit towards Bloomingdale's. So I got two jumpers. The first one is this one, which is like a little heart with two little pirate swords. And then the one that I'm wearing now, I'll stand up so you guys can see it which is this bright neon yellow color. I really like this. I like the bright colors, especially during winter. It's nice to have a pop of color sometimes. And it just has a little smiley face with a tongue sticking out. So these are super comfortable. They are a little bit pricey, but for me, it's worth it, especially since I saved $50 and got $15 back 
For me, these jumpers are worth it because um, I wear them all the time. The other two I have, I wear those once a week every single week so I get a lot of use out of these jumpers so if you're someone who's like me who would wear these a lot then they're definitely worth the money they wash really well and that's why I am willing to invest in these so I love them and they're super super soft and really cute they have tons of cute designs and I will probably be getting more but it was great that they were on sale when my friend Mary is in town when the two of us are together we have a couple of traditions the first one is to eat lots of carbs because we love cake and donuts and basically anything that's carby so we always go eat cupcakes or donuts or something like that and then we also like going to Asian beauty stores and hunting for really good products. So she took me to this store called Takashima in, I believe it was Alhambra. If I can find the address online, I will put it down below in the description bar because it's a really, really good store. So if you've been looking for a good Asian beauty store, you should definitely check this one out. Um, we picked up some really awesome stuff. And the first thing I have here is this mascara. This is the Heroin Make Long and Curl Mascara. I love trying out different Asian mascaras because they're really, really good because um, with American mascaras, most American mascaras, my lashes just fall and they smudge and it, they're just a hassle. So I decided to try out this one because Mary said she had used it before and really liked it. So it has a curled, a curled, a curled, a curved brush, and so I actually got a lot of mascaras. So um, it'll take me some time to try them out and see how they go. But I'm excited because I like trying out new mascaras. And then I got two Majolica Majorca ones. I love the Lash Expander Frame Plus and the volumizing one, but I decided to try out the Lash Gorgeous Wing which has a different brush. I think the brush looks more standard, at least from the picture, that's what it looked like. Yeah, it looks like it has more of a standard mascara brush. The other ones kind of have um, a different brush. The other ones, actually, I'll show you this one, because this one isn't really a mascara, it's a primer, so it has fibers in it, and um, it makes your lashes look longer, so I decided to try this out, but most of the um, Majolica Majorca mascaras have a brush that looks like this. So the girl at the store said that this was really good and I had seen it before when I was in Thailand but I figured, well, why not? I'm just gonna try something new even though I've never really used a primer before so we'll see how that goes. If I can get this back in there and then I was super excited that we found this. There were only two left, so Mary got one and I got one as well. This is the Candy Doll Ramune pink color, and I had seen Holly Anna Ray talk about this, and she was raving about this color. It's supposed to be a really pretty baby pink lipstick, and I could not find this online. I did find it online, but then it was sold out, so this was like super hard to find, and I was so happy that this store had it. And I would show you guys if I could get it out of the packaging here. So this is what the tube looks like, and then when I twist it up, this is what the color looks like. Um, it doesn't look like an exotic color or anything like that, but this is supposed to just be a really nice um, baby pink. Let me put it on my... Ooh, yeah. This kind of reminds me of like cream cup or hue. I don't know how well that's showing up on my hand, but I will definitely be trying this out. I'm excited to put this on. Mary put it on and it looked amazing on her, so I'm sure I will like it as well. And I also got an eyeliner. This one Mary had tried before and really liked it, so I decided to step outside of the super quick slash dolly wink um, brands and try this one. This is the La Rose de Versailles Oscar Impact and Oscar Impact and Cool Eyes liquid liner. So I like these because they have a brush tip and they're super super precise. So this one is supposed to be waterproof, smudge proof, and I love the picture on the back. It has like either a little panda or a little raccoon and it says you won't get this kind of eyes. So I love that. I love that they do that. I love 
um, how the packaging is just so cute. This packaging will suck me in just because it looks nice. And then another thing I'm excited about, excited about, which may seem kind of random, are these bobby pins. Mary had told me that these are like the best bobby pins because they hold your hair in place. And I get really frustrated because I like wearing my hair up quite a bit in like a little top knot and I use bobby pins to keep the top knot in place but a lot of times the bobby pins will just slip and slide out, out of my hair especially because my hair is so fine in texture and it's just really like sleek and smooth so bobby pins have a hard time staying in my hair and she said these were really good so I'm excited to try these out and then I got a cute little carrying case for my bobby pins because I'm determined not to lose these bobby pins. Um, I seriously think there is a bobby pin stealing fairy out there because I will buy packs of bobby pins like this and then they will just like disappear. So um, I'm determined to keep these all together so I got this little um, plastic container at the store and I'm just going to put all my bobby pins in there. So I love the bag of things. So cute. Maybe since I have something cute like this it will make me want to put my bobby pins back in the container after I use them. Alrighty, so that is it for my Black Friday haul. And if you would like to see my Black Friday shopping experience, because I went at midnight this year, I will link my vlog right here. I posted it on my second channel. So if you didn't go out on Black Friday or if you don't have Black Friday in your country, you can kind of get a little glimpse of what it is like. It was crazy, but it was a good experience. I'm glad I did it. Don't know if I'll be doing it again at midnight, but um, it was definitely an interesting experience and I got some great stuff. So, um, like I said, I'll be doing Vlogmas on my second channel, so I hope a lot of you guys tune in for that. And I hope some of you do Vlogmas too, because I think it'll be really fun. So again, my second channel will be linked down below for that, and I will be having some Christmas giveaways on that channel too. So it'll be lots of fun, and I have some exciting stuff to share with you guys in December. Some pretty big changes are happening, so I'm excited to share everything with you guys and document everything so um, I guess I will see you guys later and I hope you all are having a fantastic day bye